What's going on, guys? Let me move this camera a little bit. How's everybody doing? Everybody doing all right? Yeah, I'm doing pretty good. Uh, I got my homie here, Kilo. He's just waking up. I figured I'd bring him in here, hang out with him for a little while. I hadn't had the opportunity to hang out with him in a while, so I figured today would be a good day. We'll see. He's all about it now. All them little spots are real cool to me. He's got some all over. But anyhow, I'm sure you guys have seen him in a previous video. If you have not, this is Kilo. He is my male piebald. He's a high white pied. Um, he's a beautiful, beautiful guy. He, uh, he... He's just real chill. He likes to hang out. Uh, he did just eat yesterday, so may not hold him for very long. Uh, not really sure on how his digestive tract is doing right now, but anyhow. I didn't want to make another video without a, a snake or a reptile of some sort, so I figured why not Kilo. He, uh, he's one of my favorites. If you've watched any of my uh, Meet the Snakes or Meet the Reptile videos, you know that I say they're all my favorite. So, uh, he is definitely one of them. Uh, he's an awesome, awesome animal. He's, uh, he's very calm, very relaxed. Uh, it's been a while since I got him out, so I was kind of curious to see how he'd react to me sticking my hand in there. And plus, we put him in a new, uh, put him in a 40 gallon breeder. Uh, he was in a tub. I'm sure you guys noticed the tub behind me uh, in previous videos. He was in that tub for a while. And uh, we caught that sale at Petco, dollar per gallon sale, which they're still having, I believe, currently. So if you're in need of some tanks, dollar a gallon. I think they say that, but uh, I think we get forty nine ninety nine is what the sticker price was on the forty gallon breeder. So uh, it's just a little bit more than a uh, dollar a gallon, and that's probably because of the size of it. They're probably a dollar a gallon up to thirty gallons or something. Look at this guy; he's just an amazing, amazing, amazing animal. But what I was saying was that in that. Uh, in that breeder you kind of got to reach your hands in there and get on top of him and I was kind of worried about how he would react to that but uh, he reacted just fine to it uh, he looked at me crazy at first but uh, he reacted fine so that's good he did have him a good meal um, yesterday he had a good meal he had a good sized rat so I don't want to handle him too long but nah, it might have been the day before yesterday What's today? I don't remember if it was yesterday or the day before. But anyhow, he did have a good size rat, so. Uh, we did go out, today is Wednesday, or Tuesday, so we did go out for tacos and margaritas today. Um, again, that we kind of changed from Wednesday to Tuesday, so we could uh, have some church time. I don't know if you guys are church goers or not, uh, but we are, and we uh, we wanted to have some to be able to attend Wednesday service. Let me back this up so you guys can see him a little bit. He's just a nosy fella. That's probably too much, but anyhow, um, yeah. So we changed it to Tuesdays instead of Wednesday, so that's fine. As long as I get my margarita for the week and my my carnitas or. Uh, burrito Chicago I'll be good to go um, but again guys this is this is Kilo my adult male pied this is the one that I will be looking for a female to pair to um, a pied female I'm sure you guys heard me mention uh, trying to breed some pieds out and why not just pick up a female that's ready. I have a male that's ready. Why not get a female? Seems to be. 
fairly simple to me. I don't know. Uh, but anyhow, with all this madness going on around the country today, uh, there's nothing more relaxing than hanging out with the snake. Kind of keeps your minds off of things. I watched another video from another YouTuber. His name's Brian. I cannot pronounce his last name. I'm sure he said it, and I just can't. I can't pronounce it. I think he's from California, but he uh, he was talking about how calm it makes a person holding a snake. Uh, this guy's being crazy, but yeah, it's definitely very calming to me. Um, and there's just something about an animal like this, who's who's fairly decent sized. Um, something about the power and the energy that you get off of him. And then just knowing that they're calm. You know, he's just a calm guy. I say that, watch him go for my jugular. Uh, no, I'm kidding. But yeah, so he's he's just a calm fella. He just likes to check everything out. I think he's kind of used to this room, like the scents from this room, because he was in here for so long. Um, and now we put him, he's kind of far. He's my, one of my favorites, so he's the one that we put in the living room. Uh, and he's also very friendly. So it helps to have a friendly um, display, right? Instead of, uh, we are going to be looking into getting a um, tree boa eventually. Uh, but that'll definitely just be a display um, animal. But he, uh, he's got a grip for him. But yeah, he's, uh, he's probably... Well, to me, he's the most impressive looking snake that we have right now. And I think it's just because of the pied. Because I like the plot, the pieds. Um, now that being said, if we did get a bell out of the deal somehow or another, it would definitely be in a living room as well. Something about the blue eyes, that the blue eyed leucistics that I like too. So, uh, but I don't know. These guys are just awesome. They're little spots. They're really neat. And he's a high white, if you can't tell, he's a high white pied, so hopefully anything that he produced to another pied, to a pied female, would be, uh, would have visual markings on it. That's the plan. I don't see why it wouldn't. Maybe my calculations are wrong, but to me it seems like if you breed two visual pieds together, you will have some visual pieds uh, to come from it. But again, this kilo... He's my homie. He's uh, he's probably one of the calmest snakes that we have. Um, him and Link, they're probably the two calmest as far as all that goes, uh, as far as hanging out with him and spending time with him. Uh, but anyhow, like I said, with all this madness going on right now, you need to find something to do to keep your mind off of it before you end up in a wormhole that you can't dig yourself out of, which does happen. Uh, there's a lot of a lot of things that I'll pay attention to that I probably shouldn't you know all things considered but yeah so uh, I just know that I'm gonna try to follow the rules the best that I can uh, at work I know I have to so it's not I mean what can you do right so and I do like to shop at Walmart and places like that so if, I, if they tell me I have to wear a mask, then I'm going to wear a mask. Um, what do you guys think? Do you guys think he looks underfed? Or does he look overfed to you guys? I don't know. I think he looks just right. Personally. I'm trying to make sure he's not about to use the bathroom on me. It would be terrible. We almost made it through the whole video. But, uh, yeah. Just wanted to talk for a little while, uh, check in, see how everybody's doing, hope everybody's good. Uh, I did have the opportunity to change all the rat bedding out today, which was a plus, because this room gets hot, and after three days or so, them rats stink. So, they needed to be changed out, something serious. And uh, that's what we did. Well, I, that's what I did. Uh, I did that, and... I cleaned up after the rats and my wife was in there cleaning up after me, so I don't know. It is what it is, I guess. Next time I clean the house and she can change the rat bedding. No, I'm kidding. It didn't bother me. Uh, 
It's something that has to be done, you know? I mean, it's all right. Look at that tickle. But anyhow, guys, I guess that's all I got today. I just wanted to talk. I wanted to show off this guy one more time. He, uh, he'll probably be in a lot more videos. Um, he's very chill. He wants to see you guys. Say hello. <laughs> uh, he did just shed a couple days ago. Well, probably about a week ago. So he did just shed. He had a perfect shed, of course. But um, he uh, he's very curious. <laughs> very curious. He wants to see what everything is and what everybody's about. So, um, and our dog doesn't like him. <laughs> or thinks he's a snack. I guess you could say. So that's not good. We'll keep you safe, Bubba. Anyhow, guys, um, appreciate the view. Uh, comment, share, like, subscribe. Uh, help me grow this channel. I know we'll get there, and I know it takes time. Um, but let's do it. Let's do it together. Uh, appreciate it. I'll see you guys on the next one.